See that right there? Nuts. Yeah, that's that's what I am. Eight grand. What was I thinking? Look at this. Oh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Journey. Oh, what is this? This is a beeper, guys. In case you guys don't know, if you're not as old as I am. Stetson right here. That's... Alright, you want to be on my uh, video? Oh, this is for a video? Yeah. <laughs> but what's going on with this couch? Look at that. Stains, brown stains. That's so gross. Alright, there's the load. Oh yeah. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we are in the storage unit. And if you didn't watch the last episode, go back and watch it, would you please? We bought this one for eight grand, okay? <laughs> See that right there? Nuts, yeah, that's, that's what I am. I am nuts, eight grand. What was I thinking? What was I drinking? No, I wasn't drinking, but uh, that was, that was a gamble I shouldn't have taken because so far we really haven't found we found some great stuff, all right? If you didn't watch the last episode, go back and find it, because we did in the beginning. Oh, we're off to a great start. Found Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, vintage G.I. Joe's, some old trains, some cameras. Man, it was so good for, like, mm. And then, dry streak, dry streak. The guy owned a landscape business, and uh, he did pass away. So we are going through just to see what was left behind. So far, a lot of books, a lot of paperwork, and a lot of... Uh, flea market stuff. So we've got more, I would say more than half the unit to go, honestly. But we do see some furniture back there, big stuff. So I don't know if there's more than half of the boxes to go through yet, but there's definitely a lot more stuff back here. And we're just hoping for one little box, all right? And what are we hoping for? We're hoping for a coin collection because it was rumored that there is a coin collection in here. The, the guy owned a coin collection and the father, who's like 86 years old, physically can't come and get this stuff. But he said there is, he thinks, a coin collection in here which is why we spent so much all right so i'm gonna get to continuing to go through these boxes let's grab this stuff right here and uh see what we find all right let's get started uh, that's got some weight to it but... does that sound like coin no not to me it doesn't uh, what is this hmm look at this that's metal of some sort. Huh. Some kind of Asian, uh, very old attire there for a soldier or something. Okay. It's just some decoration, home decor type stuff. Great rings, candles, chipped bowl. It was nice till it was chipped. This is made in Japan. But it's chipped. Chippy chip. chip. This will save. We'll put that aside. And we get we got a few things here. We got some old models, a few books. Not much. Not much. And we'll add this to the stack to go to the car. Mm -mm. There's a whole bunch of architect plans and stuff. He's a landscape architect, so we've been finding a lot of those types of plans, but no value there. And there's one more drum right there. We found an entire drum set. Oh, what does this say? Izzy's? I don't even know what that means. Bams? Nostalgia? Alright, let's get that down and go through it because so far some of these older, like, really, like, macked up boxes have had some goodies in it, so let me get up there. Alright, I did it. I did it. Alright, it's got some weight. Okay. And this one, too. This is, this is junky too. And there's some CDs. Okay, that's all right. Let's sell the CDs. Where are them coins though? A couple more drums. Jeez, there's three more drums. We've already pulled out a ton of drums. I actually have not been up this far yet. Hmm. And there's packing peanuts. <laughs> I can use those. I'm going to try not to be too excited about that, but there's a couch there too. Boo. Furniture boo. Okay, let me get down. Like a ninja. Taped up. It's clothes. What is this though? Fizzy. There's a very old pair of Levi's right here. 
Look at that. This is going to be some money right here. Um, not something I would wear. That's the area that you want to get covered up. But button fly. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's cool. And this is this is interesting. I think we can get some money for that at the vintage market. Uh, some kind of fraternity or something. Fizzy, another one. Ooh, this is neat. Look at that. What? Their pants. They got ripped. I don't think the rip was intentional. Um, that was maybe homemade pants or something. They're kind of funky. Funky is good for the vintage market, but condition on that, it's not, it's not real good. Oh, what do we got here? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Journey. Medium. That's pretty good, you guys. 1981. That is pretty good. Hawaii. They saw them in Hawaii. They have been dope. Medium. So... Um, that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of stains right here. Maybe we can get that out. That's a good. That's that's some money right there. That's definitely a good find. Scum. Southern California. Unemployed musician. Okay. There's a stain right here too. All right. What do we got here? Some old sheet music. The Rock and Roll Bible. Huh. Nice. Okay. Oh, for drummers. All right. A lot of books. Uh, like uh. Notebooks, rather. There's a Van Halen concert book. Let's look at that in a sec. Old band magazines. Okay. Rolling Stone. That's been open now. Axl Rose. Is that anything? I don't think so. Bummer. Could be more, but the, the shirts are alright. This is a Van Halen 5150 tour. That's cool. All right, I'm definitely gonna put that aside. Okay, what's in here? A couple of boots. These are, look at that, they're worn, worn. Okay, I think those are okay to retire. Here's an old football. Wilson, Pop Warner, intermediate, okay. Just nostalgic, I'm sure, to the owner, but not valuable. Okay, I'll pay for it, okay. Oh, the Rainbird, that's decent. A little timer for your irrigation. And what is this? Hmm. Nah, I thought it was like a uh, baseball cards. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Turf, turf design. Some of this stuff is very specific to the uh, landscape industry. It's outdated. I mean, this stuff's been here for a long time. They think he hasn't been here for 10 years, so it's very outdated. Okay. Whoa. That guy's been eaten up. Right. That's cool. Um, what's even cooler probably is this. I like the wood box. You could probably sell that. Okay, next. Oh, this one's heavier. Okay. Yeah, more CDs, more CDs. More CDs. There's Best of George Harrison. And Sting. What do we got here? I mean, Stone Temple Pilots. See some alternatives. See some light rock. See some pop. The Colt electric. Yeah. Mm, you see back here? See that right there? It's getting all splintered up and crushed because whatever is pushing on the weight there is broken that up. See that? Might be kind of dark, but yeah. Not ideal. Not ideal. All right. This stuff is not packed super great. Oh, what do I see back here? Oh, dang. Well, the word it might be some tires. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not focusing super well, but it looks like the back of a big TV. From the old tube TVs, big ones, heavy ones. Not good, not good. No ball. There's a couple more things that were wrapped up that fell down. I pulled that hog cabinet out. Oh, God. Okay, broken ear. Pieces in here, so. Hmm. A wood cat, that's kind of cool. That part broke up a little bit. Slate. What is it? A candlestick holder, I guess? I don't know. These things are pretty cool. Little magazine rack. But. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to move this out. It is really heavy. So let's look inside. Okay, we got a bunch of files. A bunch of files. <laughs> a bunch of files. Jeez. Come on. Bunch of files. And this is personal. It's all files. Jeez. And that is a lot of files. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we got this cleared out now. Just enough to get in here. 
this doesn't look too interesting all right and i see a lot more furniture down here big heavy stuff dining table most likely okay this thing all right <laughs> uh, good flea market stuff not what i'm looking for though not what i'm looking for all right mm -mm. Okay, there's some uh, well-used, well-loved boots right there. <laughs> wow, they look pretty old. They're, pretty, they're, they're done, unless they're going to be seriously resold, but this is nice right here. Hmm, interesting. Zone Elite was 42 bucks, whatever it was. This is a cyclo computer. Yeah, it's in there. Brand new, too. Okay, a little bit of value, maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> and we'll keep these because those might go to the bike. And then this one. Yeah, nothing. Alright, yeah, let's take the cables. Electronics, no? Just most of the cables. There's a little hard drive with that right there. Western Digital. We'll put that aside then. Uh, maybe there's a Bitcoin on there. <laughs> I think we're stretching, but man, wouldn't that be amazing and lucky? CD drive, CD drive. There's Western Digital is another hard drive. I don't make a zip, a hundred. The two fifties are better. There's a little bit of value in that. Need this. Yep, there it is. All right, that's good. So oh, what is this? This is a beeper, guys. In case you guys don't know, if you're not as old as I am, this is a pager. Well, it's called a beeper. Pronto, FLX, a flex. That's hilarious. I haven't actually found one of those in, in a while. All right, kind of fun. And yes, I had a beeper. Before I had to sell for them. Um, this is kind of cool right here. Alright, a couple more rollers, talk about Some tape. Oh, still feels sticky. Alright. Alright, we are uh, in the locker a bit, so it's a little dark, so I'm switching to the phone. Let's get that light on. Okay. And we've got some tools here, so. Yep, oh, that's nice. Mm, that's nice. Mm, that's brand new. Black and different. Metal clamps and stuff in here. So it's decent stuff. This bottom drawer is funky though. Um, that's very really nice. Nice though. Huh? Hmm, those are like professional shearing right there. You guys are landscape architects, so there's some professional shears right there for, for the plants, I think. Alright, good stuff. Mm -hmm. his, his tools actually look pretty clean. Okay. Not much screws and stuff. It's fitting for this uh, walker because, because kind of, quite frankly, I'm going to get screwed on this one. <laughs> I did it to myself though. Okay, okay. paints. This is exactly okay. Little knife set. Oh, this is nice right here, though. Um, use that box again. It's soft. It's decent. Not a lot of stuff in here. A little bit of paints right here. Watercolor. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I'll do it. I really need to get this down, uh, but I just I think it's gonna spill everywhere, and I don't have anywhere to really put it, and I don't want it in my van. I'm coming back with my trailer next time, so I want to put that in the trailer. But right now, where do I put it? I can put it up here. Oh man, this is getting so awkward. This is just a this moving slow in here. This is an awkward unit, packed kind of strange. <clears throat> back here, though, you see this box right here? This is kind of interesting. I don't know. That looks looks kind of neat right there. That chest or something. Trunk. This thing's got to come out. 
Okay. That's not, not great, but it's just going to have to do for now. And the wheel came off too. Oh. Hmm. What's this? Yeah, it's a drafting kit. An older one. That's pretty cool. Nice. Charvos. Charvos. What's this? Little drafting stuff, papers and such. Okay, well used pencil set for when they um, draw out landscape plans and stuff. I think that's what that's for. Or maybe just for art. Rapidograph, rapidograph. And some high end pens right here. Okay. Man, this one looks like clothes. This locker's turned into be a real stinker. Uh -oh. nah. Not seeing it. Okay. What we got here. What is this? Some parts? Car parts or something? Motorcycle, car, I don't know. Carburetor? What is that? <laughs> I've never worked on cars ever. I don't know. Oh, that's lovely. Alright, that's gonna have to wait till I get the trailer. I don't wanna lift it. Yeah, this one I see says DVDs and movies. Let's find out. Alright, yep. That's what it is. Movies. Uh, a bunch of VHS though. That sucks. But we got some DVDs. Looks like they're mostly from uh, video rental block or Hollywood. So pre-owned. Oh man, right behind it, a bunch more paperwork. Sheesh. Family albums and pics. That's a kind of a good sign because at least it's not business and you know, I don't know. Maybe some keepsakes back there. Coin collection. I'm still not giving up. I'm still got that in my mind. There's hope. There's hope. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. Obviously, there's still a lot more stuff in here, but do you think I got through half of it? I think I did only because these file cabinets are going to be very easy to move. The dresser is easy to move. Just put the little hand cart up to it, bring it down the elevator onto my trailer when I bring the trailer back. That's gonna go pretty quick and uh, all these big pieces of wood and the mattress, this stuff moves pretty quick. The couch, you know, but I think we went through half of it. I, I, all right, this is one time when I wish I wasn't half done. Because uh, I want more chances to find something. I think we maybe got a couple thousand dollars in stuff that came out already. But we didn't spend a couple thousand. We spent eight. All right, well, that's a lot of money. So anyways, um, it could just take one box. Just one box, right? We'll be back here soon and I'll uh, pick it up. All right, unfortunately, I left at a time when it's the really bad commute hour, right? It's about five o'clock. But check out the view right here. We got the bay beautiful sun starting to set i don't know if you guys can see it out there it's kind of just a light silhouette in the background that is san francisco yeah beautiful beautiful skyscape right there nice and this is san francisco bay right here there's a homeless there's a homeless encampment right here and look at all that garbage strewn about that is that's really just terrible look at that seen that before growing up around there's here. a 17 minute slow down in 1.5 miles you are still on the fastest route <laughs> So I did want to say one thing and that's about this uh, locker so you know we spent eight grand on this that is by far more than I spent on any locker the most I think I'd ever spent before is 3500 and that was the Hummel locker it, I might be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's the most I ever spent 3500 so this one we took a quite a big swing on it and right now I'm regretting that right right now I am regretting it but like I said it takes one box but here's the thing We've been doing really well lately, right? We've had some really good lockers this year, and we I thought it was okay to take a, um, you know, a big swing, a big chance, a big gamble. And this one, all the things lined up on it. Deceased owner, 
Um, he had money, uh, you know, because it seemed like he had a business and he worked with high-end clients. That's what we were told. Uh, we saw Star Wars, G.I. Joe cameras. We didn't see cameras. We saw uh, trains. And then, of course, the rumors of the coin collection. All right. So, so many things lined up. Those are like hot buttons for us, things that we want to hear. That's the kind of locker I want to take a chance on. And we saw other stuff in there, too. We saw the drums. We saw the models, leather jacket hanging there kind of set the tone but the locker's been really disappointing so far but I'm just wanted to make sure that I make that point that you know we took this chance because we were in a position to also we've really dialed in our sales process because we have those live auctions and we have been we've been selling tons of stuff on eBay and we also hit the market so like I know I can sell the stuff I know I can make money but I just want to make sure no one else out there I mean you guys are gonna maybe take see us take a big loss on this one maybe not but um <laughs> But I just want to make sure you guys understand, like, I took that chance because I'm in a position to. If you can't lose $8,000, I do not recommend bidding that much on a locker, even if you think it's great. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. And you guys have seen us do really well with some low price lockers. We've also been really lucky with a couple of auctions where competitors did not show up. Even the recent one I got for 30 bucks, and I found a Nintendo DS and some Ray-Bans and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, we're going to make a few hundred, if not $400 on that locker, I think you can make money on low price lockers okay don't be scared and that was just a box in a bag and yeah we got we got lucky on that too but you don't have to take these big swings you don't have to take a big risk unless you're comfortable doing that all right don't do what we do unless you are comfortable losing eight thousand dollars all right I personally am one to just say be very careful with your money don't spend it too easily don't take big chances if you're not in a position to right I just want to caution you guys I am very conservative with money and um, I don't want anyone to think that oh you just need to spend more you need to go after these big ones to make it big you really don't this time I just thought it was time for us to step up and whoo, got slapped on the hand <laughs> nope the locker said eh -eh, this time this time you're not gonna win <laughs> at least that's the way it looks right now all right what's up locker for, for you guys it was like that for me it was a couple days uh yeah a lot's happened since then so i'm back at the unit it's saturday i don't know what time it is 12 30 or something way too late got a very late start had a bunch of stuff to do this morning and then forgot my tarp had to go back to the house and then tons of traffic oh that's part of being in the bay area all right well i brought some friends to help today well by friends i mean hand carts a couple more garbage cans boxes yeah that's about the only help i'm getting and um, most importantly i got my a trailer today all right the trailer is going to come in handy with all this furniture and big stuff first up i need to get some stuff out of here to go to the dump and the recycle which fortunately isn't very far away i've never been there but i looked on the map it's not too far away they do close i don't know 4 35 i gotta get a load together maybe working quick uh, for the first part of this day so maybe not so much unboxing mostly uh just loading and hustling so that's what i'm gonna get to all right let's go all right, I made some pretty good progress. I got the, well, one mattress is down the hall and some of the big planks of wood that were part of some furniture, maybe an office, desk, I don't know what. But now, it's getting a little tricky because it's so high. So I thought I'd film it because maybe something falls on my head and that's funny. Okay. Let's get this out. This stuff is just like ready to fall. Oh, precarious. Uh -huh. And this is, uh, we peeked in these before, and I think it's mostly um, like files and books and paperwork. I think this is for a drafting table. I think that's what that big piece of wood was. Oh man, I moved this over, I didn't even notice, but unfortunately in the back corner is another humongous TV. So now we got two TVs I gotta dispose of, and that sucks. Okay, uh, but this is a little bit better. We'll open this in a second. It says record albums, and it is sealed shut, so that's a good, good sign, kind of. Kitchen, pots, and pans, not a good sign. Family albums and pics, we saw that last time, not a good sign. Do we have any signs of hope? What does that say? Ikea stuff, no. 
No, 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 no. This looks interesting here. I, I cannot tell if it's heavy or not. A nice looking trunk, but buried in junk. So I gotta get that off. I can't tell if it's, it could be empty for all I know. Man, linens of some sort, wrapping paper. Okay, back there, I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking good, not looking good. Um, here's a little something interesting. Well, you know, let's look at that in a second when I have my both hands free, but yeah, it's not looking super duper great here, guys. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep uh, loading for the dump though, and uh, we'll have hopefully have a few things to go through. All right, guys, change of plans. I had called a friend of mine yesterday from the auctions and asked him if he needs some flea market stuff, and um, he showed up. I didn't know if he was going to or not, so he's here, and he's loading up his van with a few things here today to light my load. I want to put the chest cam on so we can get both hands, because now i got to move a little faster. I don't only have to load in time before the dump closes. i got to keep him fed so he can keep uh, loading his truck. All right, we went through this stuff here, those old boots and stuff. I think I'm going to give that to him. He can sell that and make a little bit of money. This one I pulled down. Oh, that's a vintage helmet right there. That's actually pretty cool. Hallman products. Is that worth anything at all? I don't know, but uh, I got to put it aside. It's a little bit older. This kind of stuff right here, we could definitely give to him. This kind of stuff he wants to take. Anything that sells easy. He goes to the flea market, I think, Monday through Friday. So he moves a lot of merchandise. And uh, yeah, so this could work out good. All right, let's see here. <sighs> No, 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 no. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lock of nuts is caught without a knife. No way. Get out. Did I leave it here? What the heck? I think I set it down in my garage. <laughs> I'm only laughing because when I set it down, I said to myself, now don't leave it here. That would be terrible. Okay, what do we got here? What did this say? Red cedar tan zoo, 10 by 10. What's a tan zoo, guys? I don't know. I'm getting this on camera or what? It's empty. Nothing in there. What is so special about that? I don't get it. All right. Got a couple things here. Is that a print or is that a painting? I don't know. These are paintings. I'm going to put those aside. Well, there might be a little bit of value there. And I, I got to scratch out a profit on this one. I mean, I'm not making a profit on this. I got to scratch out as, as narrow of a loss as I can. Let me just put it that way. Stetson right here. That's... Sorry, I'm gonna have to do it. So I won't come back to this later, even with these dirty hands. All right, well, this is a little dirty anyways. It's like a light purple, like a lavender, Royal Deluxe Stetson. It's a decent looking hat. Okay, put that aside. All right, you wanna be on my uh, video? Oh, this is for a video? Yeah. <laughs> you were on before, <laughs> briefly. I got to keep those though, because those part of my, yeah. I got the whole drum set. Uh, um, I mean, there's tons of drums. How much do drum sets worth? I never even found a drum set before. Uh, me neither. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, I never find something like that. Oh, man. I thought for sure you would have found one. You kind of buy a lot of stuff. I don't know. Do you want any of this? Mm? You want any of that? You don't have to take it. Okay, this looks like towels. Okay, here's some towels. Towels always sell. You want this thing right here, the drafting lamp? Yeah. <laughs> Piggy bank, no piggies. Aye. That's how this locker's been. What's that? A little crystal clock. This box feels like I should go slower on it. I'll keep that just aside for now. All right. Um, let's see. This drawer is off the rail right there. Just want to make sure there's no like coin collections in here. <laughs> mm -mm. 
good tools. But, uh, you want this? Yeah. Yeah, this is good. That should be 75 bucks at least, right? Flea Market loves it. Ah, oh, there's some rocks right here. Look at this. Cool. Not big money, but we'll definitely be able to put that in it. Our live auctions. That's an auction worthy item. Okay. Okay, old glove. Hutch. Okay, we got some vintage shirts here. Royals. That's like for a kid. Oh, nice. Spider Man. Half shirt. Tank top. Nice. You know what? This one, this is definitely looking like better stuff right here. So I'm gonna leave this. Woo, rocks are flying. I'm gonna leave this here. We've given this to. Okay. Oh, look at this little racing cap right there. Campanella, that's good. Found some Campanella parts before and they're big money. Okay, sheets. And the cassettes. Oh, I see Sex Pistols, Police, Bad English, Billy Idol. It's decent stuff. That is an old golf club right there. Wood shaft. Let's see if he wants that too. Water clothes, I think, or winter clothes. Winter clothes, okay. <laughs> nice. Now, I usually do not go this fast through a unit, guys, but I'm on a serious time crunch here. And I tell you, I wouldn't go through this this fast if I uh, was feeling like there's potentially something I'm gonna miss here. I'm just not getting that feeling. I'm getting the feeling this stuff is junky, 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 junky. PMT airflow. All right, some goggles, ski goggles. It's a good time to sell that. It's December. Small curlers and yeah, some drapes and stuff. All right, we're not missing too much there. This is a vintage uh, hamper though, it's kind of cool. But this is falling off there. Let's see if he wants that, I don't know. All right, bubble wrap, I will take that. Use that like crazy. Um, hmm, I'm seeing a few cards in here, not too much, but I'm seeing a few cards in there. So maybe we'll put this aside and go through a little slow. Oh, this is heavy. Hoping we find some coin books or something here, especially for how heavy it is, but not looking good. There's some yearbooks. Ooh, not finding much good stuff. A journal. Uh, There's a lot, of, a lot of things you don't know. I've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, total all the time, huh? Do you want uh, one of these? This one is metal. Yeah. This one's better, huh? This one, you want that one? No, because they're gonna recycle. I don't sell those. You know, they yeah. can buy. buy if you... Okay. There's a metal one they do though, right? That's what I was thinking when I found it. I was like, oh, this is a little better. <laughs> And a walk. Nope, this is photos. This is all looks like photos. Looks like all photos. Huh. Pots and walk, it says. I'm gonna go through that a little bit carefully though. Just in case, okay? Some kind of comforter here or pillows or something. Empty jars, it said. Yeah, that's what it is. Ball. And look at that. That lid is actually pretty neat. I mean, that is an older jar, but I'm not talking about big, big money here. Antique irons and coasters, antique glass flower jar. Oh, that's a good one. It says flower jar. Put your flower in there. We'll look at that in a sec. I gotta get flea market stuff here. So, more linens. Okay. I feel like I'm working a lot faster now because he's taking it down and yeah, it's, it's moving and grooving now. Okay, I know he wants these chairs. Chairs sell good at the market for some reason. Okay. It's office supplies. Okay, let's see. Pencils. I gotta go through this one a little bit more carefully. Let's see if we can find a different one. Um, the last... Um, you know, I got a really good 
a really good locker with trains in it. Trains? Yeah. Where did you get that one? I'm, I, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it a secret, but it was a good one. I mean, a really good one. Uh, I haven't even gone through it all. I'm taking my time and putting it on eBay and selling it real slow. Uh, okay. But it was a good one, though. <laughs> Yeah, what do we got here? What does this say? Gray Tinsu, I don't know. It's another one. Mm, what the heck? Maybe these are nice. We sure protected them well. Is this something expensive, guys? Uh-oh. There's something in there. Some stamps, maybe? Oh, is that a Bible? Oh, in a little box. Okay, wait a second. This we gotta take our time on. This is something better. Let's put that back in right now. Okay, now it's got to wait. I'm making a nice little pile here. We can go through a little bit more time. I might run down to the dump and then come back and finish up. Oh, and this trunk is looking beautiful. Hmm, that got me. That I actually held my breath for a second there. It looked like a coin book, but it's not. It's a journal. A little bit of tapes. All the decks. Star Wars. Got some DVDs. Okay. I'm gonna have to go through that one a little slower. You know what? Let's peek in here. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Are you guys seeing that? It's just blankets. Dang. Beautiful uh, trunk, though. That is really pretty. Hey, what's this? Oh. What do we got here? Crystal something. Hmm. That's pretty. And this one. Those are nice. They're not incredibly amazing, but they are a little bit nicer. Okay, let me give that to him. Okay, here's another some kind of little cabinet in here. I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Okay. I think it's just not packed well. I don't think it's broken. Here's the hoping. Oh yeah, a bunch of Ikea stuff. Yeah, it's not bad stuff. Look at this. It's good stuff for the flea market, that's for sure. It's all like wall mounts and shelf mounts and stuff, and that's, that's some neat stuff. This is all Ikea stuff, like for shelving and stuff. Mm -hmm. See, it's brand new. That's good for the market, right? Yeah. yeah. Let's take it out. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. This is pots and pans here. I think a lot of glassware. This is a good one. You want this one? Yeah. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. On front. Yeah, it's looks like decent stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, well, if you find a coin collection in there, let me know. Yeah, I'd let you know. <laughs> You're like, I'll call you from Hawaii. <laughs> okay, this is some records. That's good. I'm going to go through that later. This one, kitchen. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep that Stanley uh, thermos. I think that might be it. Cause I got a few more boxes. I'm gonna go through those. You want this? Yeah, why not? I think this should be this should be 7,500 bucks right here. Let's just pop it open and see if there's anything good in here. Uh, I think it's just blankets. Let's see. I had a nice one like this. Yeah. I like what, but a lot of pickerings everywhere. Uh huh. The whole thing. Uh, I think you remember it was in a Hayward. Um. It was an Indian. I got a lot of gold from there. Yeah. And it was five dollars only. <laughs> oh, really? Because nobody wants it. Because you know what? The couch. Uh huh. Exactly the same as this one. Yeah. It was right in the door. So they ah, huh. they passed through. They did not even see inside. Yeah. It was by seven TVs, the skinny ones. Uh huh. Right in the back. Oh, really? Because everybody, you know, they open right here. And the couch was right here. Yeah. And it was the long one. Yeah. Real long one. Uh -huh. And I keep that one for my house. <laughs> oh yeah? yeah? Good one, huh? They they not not even see inside. Five dollars, man. A lot of gold. 
Really? It was from Indian guys. Uh huh. You know, and every everything was in there. Everything was clean. Really? Everything. Wow. And I keep the the thing like this, but with a lot of fragrance. Right? Yeah. Their gods or something like that everywhere. Uh huh. Whole thing. Mm. And my wife used it for uh, her things. You know, she make uh, some clothes. Yeah. And she put it on there. Uh huh. Yep. All right. Well, this is a nice one. Yeah. Be good. Okay. Do you need help with it? No. Okay. All right. There he goes. Um, that was very helpful to me. So he took a lot of big stuff. Um, I was kind of debating whether to give him that big trunk or not. But you know what? I need to make money back on this unit. But I'll tell you, I have so much stuff right now with all the trains. I shouldn't even bought this one, really. I mean, obviously, I'm coming to that realization because uh, it's a loss. But um, really, it's like I don't even have any business here. I should have been doing the other one, going through more trains. But I just want to break from trains a little bit. I think some of you guys want to break, too. I don't know. He and I... Uh, have bid against us each other lots of times but I do consider him a friend and I just had a feeling that maybe uh, he might need some flea market stuff I don't think he does right now he did a big he was saying he did a big estate sale buyout but you know I just kind of feel like you give a guy like that some stuff and it's, it's going to come back to you at some point you know, he's to make a little bit more money for his family he's a hard working guy his whole family's involved in his business also it's a good a good guy good good man but this is definitely mutually beneficial he took a load a large load and that's what I'm down to right here gotta get the couches on there but I think I can make that dump and uh, get get back here and do some better digging <laughs> dig into the good stuff good stuff okay got the couches out all right that, that makes me feel good but what's going on with this couch look at that stains brown stains and then on this side Look at that. The stain's even permeated through the bottom. Someone must have spilled like a gallon of chocolate milk, maybe? Or something else, I don't know. That's so gross. This is all dirty here too. This is this is a disgusting couch. This is going in the dump. Okay guys, I feel like I ran pretty fast through this and I'm still tight for the dump closing. I gotta get going, but I just wanna show you what it looks like just in case I don't make it back here. I do plan to make it back here though. I plan to put at least those TVs on the trailer and maybe that big wood thing back there. Uh, and then we could do some digging, I think. I don't know, I'm getting a little bit tired here. Whoops, and the lights went out. There's a sign. All right, gotta get going and get to that dump. Okay, all right, there's the load. Oh yeah. And there's my trailer for anyone new viewers who haven't seen this. I don't use it too much. Since getting the Sprinter van, I haven't used the trailer too much. But I'll tell you, this trailer, probably one of my best investments in this business. It was 1100 bucks. I bought it used, but it was almost new. It was like a year old. All right, so a couple nets, some bungees, a tarp, and we're ready to go. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I reminded now how much I hate tying down that uh, tarp and everything. It takes a lot of time. It's just very frustrating. It's something you don't want to do at the end of the day, but it's four o'clock right now. Dump closes at five. I think it's pretty close. I kept thinking in my head, as long as I can get out by four, as long as I can get out by four, it's four minutes to four. So I'm right on time. Couldn't be happier with that. Uh, but yeah, <sighs> I'm tired. All right, here we are at the uh, landfill. It's not very busy. There's only one guy in front of me, one guy behind me. I don't even know where it is. There's the San Francisco Bay way out there, if you can see that blue. It's very pretty. Hmm. Oh man, they, uh, <laughs> that was 225 bucks. Yikes. That's very expensive. Um, and he said they charge by the yard. He's charging me by the yard, which he said would be cheaper than uh, by weight. Yeah. Well, anyways, what can you do? <laughs> it's done now. All right. No, well, it's not done. I still got to unload it, but. Looks like Z police right there. <laughs> All right, so I unloaded at the dump and then headed back, loaded those TVs on the trailer and hit the road. I was actually so tired, I didn't have any energy to do much more than that. And I was already planning on coming back on Monday because the office is closed Saturday, Sunday, and I need to get my $100 deposit back. So I was coming back regardless, but I did set the table up and get the boxes all ready to go. I wanted to hit the ground running on Monday and do as much unboxing as possible uh, because I saved what I hoped was the best for last, of course, in the front with some great stuff but anything that looked good I, I put aside and and that's what we have left but um ah, here's the here's the deal though and a lot of you already know this but Monday morning 
um, woke up to the news that our very, very close friend passed away in her sleep. And um, man, it, it just floored us in her family devastated of course and uh we were completely heartbroken when i say the friend of ours it's this is really an understatement i mean she's more like family um her family is like family to us we're very very close uh Jana's best friend she's in the room for, for everyone the kids that was born i mean we spent christmases together there, it, it doesn't get, really get much closer and uh completely unexpected she's just a few years older than me and uh wonderful lady wonderful gal <sighs> it's so hard even now it's been almost two weeks i mean well over a week and a half and still it's so hard to even talk about so yeah we've been dealing with that and honestly like i have done nothing in the past almost like i said two weeks i did go back on monday we spent the morning with her family and that was a tough morning. And then I jumped in the van and drove up and cleared out the rest of this locker. And that was not a fun trip. Of course, I videoed nothing. I was just not in the mindset for that. Um, but luckily, the van was empty. So I threw everything in the van. And there it has sat for the last 12 days and uh, or 11 days. And the good news is it's dry. It's secure. It's just waiting for me for when the time's right. And I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, definitely derailed the plans there. And all this stuff is just like not important, put it aside and focus on what's important, which is just being there for our friends, you know. But wow, that happened in the middle of this locker. I would have really preferred for this locker to have been done and forgotten about, quite frankly, because it's not been such a great locker. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyways, thanks for going along with the venture with us anyways, regardless of if they're good or bad. There was some great stuff in this locker. Um, I mean, some of it's back there and we're going to put it in our live auction. Exciting stuff. If we had spent five hundred dollars on the locker i'd be thrilled if we spent a thousand on the locker i'd be like okay we're gonna do all right eight thousand on the locker is not good and then another 225 for the dump right let's not forget that but anyways there's still quite a few boxes and those are ones that i peeked in and said nope i'm not giving that to my friend for the flea market nope i'm not taking that to the dump these ones look good those we're going to go through in the next episode and i think there's enough boxes to go through for an entire episode so let's hope let's hope let's hope uh there's still some hope all right there's still some hope yeah you know, what can I say? This stuff, man, it just doesn't, the last week and a half, it just really hasn't mattered to me all that much. Um, I've really lost my heart for it. But right now, it's feeling good getting back in the swing because I really need the distraction. I need to focus on something else, uh, something fun. And this is a fun job. Even when they're terrible lockers, I still enjoy it. I did, you know, in editing this, I did look back and say, I was rushing. I was definitely rushing, but I was still having fun. You know, I was still having fun and not as much fun as the train locker. No, but it is still fun. And um, I need that distraction right now. So anyways, I just want to say thank you to everyone that supports our channel. You know, we had planned on doing an auction on Monday and uh, I put a post up when we decided to postpone it, which is very early in the day because uh, we knew things. There's no way we would have been able to do a live that day. <laughs> Couldn't even keep a dry eye for five minutes. Uh, it was, it was a, a terrible day, but, um, what blew me away was all the comments that we, that just the outpouring of comments that we got from you guys. And, uh, it was amazing both on YouTube and on Facebook. And I was getting emails from people and I know I didn't respond to very many. I'm sorry. I just couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to even do much of anything it made a difference though it really did to me and i shared it with her family and i shared the comments with of course our family and um it made a difference it made us feel loved and uh, i just want to say how much I, I really appreciate that all right i really do i appreciate you guys and of course we appreciate you watching these videos but there's definitely something more there we appreciate all that love we felt the love all right so in it in I mean, if anything, it's like we learn something from every locker that we buy. I always say, like, I learn something new every time. And maybe that's about an item, a lesson learned or a story revealed. Right now, it's like I'm being reminded and taught a lesson that, like, life is short. I know that sounds so cliche, but it's life is so short and it can end at any moment. And you really do not know when is your last. 
I mean, I saw her two two days before that. Jana spent the last two nights with her hanging out because she had come up to town and visited with her. Jana was with her the last two nights. No one could see that coming. Death is quick. Death is sudden. Death is so final. Man, it's just, you just don't know when that person that you're saying goodbye to, that that's going to be your last goodbye. Um, and you don't know if it's going to be your last goodbye either. I just want to encourage you guys that if you, if you need that reminder, you know, give that person a, a hug, tell them you love them, tell them that. Don't wait, don't put it off. If you have a chance to spend some time with somebody, uh, do it. Don't, don't put it off. And um, if you need to forgive somebody, then you should do that also. Don't put that off. Um, you may not get a chance, right? So so anyway, sorry to end that uh, video on a bummer note, but that is what happened in our life. And you know what? These videos, I share my life with you guys. So it's part of the thing. Good, bad, up, down, uh, sad, happy. You get it all, all right? <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully you like it, and I think you do, because I know the videos are getting watched, and our subscribers keep going up, and I think that's a sign you guys like it, but I'm just doing what I do. All right, so anyways, uh, we'll be in that van, I think, tomorrow, but you'll it'll be either way, tomorrow or the next day, it'll be the next video, which will be out soon, and let's go hunting for some treasure together, all right? But until then, good luck to you, God bless you, and we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, guys, let me get a little sneak peek as to what we're going to do in the next episode. That's what we got. We've got this van right here, and it's got, eh, it's not that much stuff, but I think it's all mostly good stuff. Not this bin here, but everything else. Yeah, we're going to have some fun.